Has planned impact analysis. Solution to workshop number one. This is a project we created in our previous tutorial. Now we're going to insert a few delay events into this uh, program. Please refer to the Excel file in your folder in order to get more details about the delay events. An important thing to remember before doing an impact analysis is to ensure that all constraints are removed. As you can see here, there's a constraint in this activity and I'm removing it. In general, we will be inserting a delay event depending on which activity it affects and we will split the activity and then link the fragment which is a delay event to the affected activity. So please follow the steps that I'm going to show you on screen. So I've inserted a new activity and I'm just typing up the first delay event which is flooding due to heavy storms. Now it's time to insert the duration for the delay event, which is specified in your Excel file. And the delay is 10 days. Do a bit of formatting there. And then I'll insert it into the code libraries and define a new library for delay events. I'll also define a new formatting for each type of delay event whether it's excusable, inexcusable, or compensable. And we'll follow this procedure for all our impact analyses. And it's generally good practice to have it, and it's one of the benefits of using ASTA. The presentation is much better than MS Project or Primavera. I'd just like to mention that uh, we made an error in the formatting right here, but don't worry, it does not affect the overall analysis. And now it's time to insert this delay event into the excavation and concrete slab activity. So first, we will split the affected activity by duration and you need to take that duration from the Excel file and once that's done we can simply insert the delay event between the activity and link them by finish to start finish to start logical links and reschedule the entire project click on OK and you can see that the program has been negatively impacted and we have a revised completion date of the 18th of February 2015. Now I'm going to repeat the procedure for the remaining delay events. So please observe the presentation very carefully. We're going to repeat the steps again, insert the delay duration and split the affected activity and embed the delay event into the affected activity by using finish to start logical links. Before you split the affected activity, please make sure that you get the duration correct. Please refer to the Excel file to get the correct start and finish dates for the delay event. Now insert the delay event into the split activity using finish to start relationships. Reschedule the project. And you can see that the program has been critically delayed as a result of this new delay event. Let's insert the next delay event. The procedure is exactly the same. I'll let you watch without being distracted by my voiceover. And after this delay event has been completed, we will look at inserting two more delay events which have more than one activity, so essentially proper fragments.
the delay event has been properly inserted. It's being logically linked. Once that's done, once again, reschedule the project and you'll see that the program has been critically impacted. Now we're going to insert a fragnet with two delay events. And we'll also use a summary bar to isolate the fragnet and then link it logically to the program by inserting finish to start links to the affected activity. Please note that each activity within the fragnet should also be linked to each other by using finish to start logical links. Now that the durations have been entered for the delay events, I'm going to summarize the fragnet. Subsequently, the fragnet will be logically inserted into the program by linking it to the roof construction and cladding activity. So the fragnet has now been logically linked and inserted within the roof construction and cladding activity. So now it's time to reschedule the program and note the negative impact to the critical path and the project completion date. Now we'll insert our final fragment, which is a variation order. So please watch the presentation very carefully. I'll pause the commentary for now so that you can fully focus on the steps involved.
And there you have it. The fragment has been logically inserted into the main program and the negative impact to the critical path and project completion date is clear. Now at this point, your as planned impact analysis is complete. All that is left to do is to insert the progress line into the code library. Now we'll carry out one last step and it's generally good practice to do this after any delay analysis. This is a check I like to carry out in order to ensure that the delay events have been properly and logically embedded into the main program. What you could do is go back and make all the durations for the delay events equal to zero and see if the completion date ties up with your original completion date. So this is just a cross check to make sure that the program was properly embedded with the delay events. So let's reschedule the program and it looks good. The finish date has gone back to the 4th of February 2015 which is exactly the same as the original completion date. From this result it is clear that we have successfully managed to embed all the fragments into the original program. So all that is left to do is to insert a new progress line and save a final baseline with the as planned impact completion date. We'll also insert a new column called a finish variance column which will clearly show us the difference between the planned finish date and the impacted finish date. So please watch the rest of the steps shown on screen and after that you're ready to move on to the next module which is a workshop assignment.